who will wear the crown of the king? Well, tonight we move one step closer into finding that out. This past Monday Night on Raw, the King of the Ring tournament kicked off. Tonight, here on SmackDown, the first round continues. Coming up tonight on the blue brand, Master Chad Gable of Alpha Academy is set to go one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo, Andrade, a contrast of styles that should make for an extraordinary collision inside of the squared circle. And in your main event, the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the Iris Ace, J.D. McDonough goes one-on-one -on -one with a returning American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Will Cody's road to redemption kick off tonight? Or does J.D. McDonough have the ace up his sleeve to advance in the King of the Ring? It's a new day, yes it is! We are live here at Simon's Bank Arena in Little Rock, and we are kicking things off with some tag team action. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day making their way down the yellow brick road. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day! Samantha Irvin on the call now on Friday Night SmackDown. Welcome aboard, but as we focus in on our opening matchup tonight, we take a look at how we got here two weeks ago. Kofi Kingston pushing Ricochet to his limits in the United States Championship Open Challenge, which Ricochet was able to survive. After the match of the man who has been on the one and only's tail, Carmelo Hayes with the ambush, staking his claim that Battleground was just a bump in the road and that Hayes is looking to become the United States Champion. Well, obviously some great respect between the New Day and Ricochet and Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods not taking too kindly to Carmelo Hayes, reigning on the parade of such a great United States Championship match. And now the New Day go 2v2 against Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams of the Trick Mellow Gang. Carmelo Hayes laid out the United States Champion two weeks ago, moments after Ricochet retained the championship. It is obvious that the man they call him has his eyes still on the red, white, blue, and gold, but he's got to earn it the hard way here on SmackDown. And their opponents at a combined weight of 415 pounds, the team of Make no mistake about it, these two young men, all the tools to be successes here on Friday night. Carmelo Hayes had a hell of a matchup with Roman Reigns last month on SmackDown in the lead up to Roman Reigns challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship a few weeks ago at Battleground. Even Carmelo Hayes, speaking of the Battleground PLA, went one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet and fell short in his pursuit of the gold. Melo's been making some waves, but he's got to get it done where it counts. And tonight is certainly a night where it counts. The lights are on bright. The King of the Ring Tournament kicks off on the Friday Night SmackDown side later this evening here in Little Rock. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams under the spotlight as we kick things off. Should be a great tag team matchup as the road to the King of the Ring continues here on Friday Night SmackDown. Trick Williams, Xavier Woods kicking things off in our tag team matchup. JD McDonough, the Cruiserweight Champion, I'm sure is going to have his hands full with a very ambitious American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You got to wonder where Cody's psyche is going to be after he came up short against the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. The last time we saw him at Battleground in that steel cage matchup, Will Cody be overzealous tonight to try to right the wrong of that loss in a sense? Really have his head on straight. We'll find out in tonight's main event here on SmackDown. Kofi Kingston now the legal competitor taking it to Trick Williams. Trick Williams, we've only seen so much action here and there for Williams really over the last year, ever since the Trick Mello gang came the Monday Night Raw and then of course drafted the Friday Night SmackDown back in the month of April, but make no mistake about it, Trick Williams, just as talented as any man on the roster, is gonna be a breakout superstar one day, I am sure. Right now, Mello and Trick got their heads so far up each other's asses, and you know, in my opinion, they may be getting in each other's way. 
Nonetheless, there's a tag to Xavier Woods as the New Day is looking good here in the early moments of this matchup. Mello and Trick may be a great tandem, but they are more familiar with singles action. Not necessarily the tag team contest where Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston have thrived over the last 10 years since the New Day's formation. Trick Mello gang may be the young hot stars, but the New Day, the veterans, may be the favorites in this tag team matchup tonight in Simons Bank Arena. Look at Trick Williams, power on his side. Obviously some great size as well as he towers over Xavier Woods and delivers a mean body slam. Unfortunately, not able to get the three count. I'm sure he desired. There you see Carmelo Hayes. Never won the shy away from getting his hands dirty. Little cheap shot Why Xavier Woods' back was turned. Carmelo Hayes now, your legal competitor. Look at her remind the WWE Universe while he is in the conversation to be a future main event star here on SmackDown. Of course, the king of the ring taking center fold tonight here in Simons Bank Arena, but also the Women's World Championship Eliminator kicks off. Who is going to be next in line for Raquel Rodriguez? We begin that process later tonight when the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox takes on the genius of the sky, EO Sky. One-on-one -on -one matchup in the Women's World Championship Eliminator. The winner's moving on to Super SmackDown in Mexico City two weeks from tonight. Meanwhile, Carmelo Hayes over the top with a slingshot DDT right on the apron. That is one way to take out Xavier Woods from competition here in the opening match tonight. Woods down and out, and Carmelo Hayes enjoying the fruits of his labor, but he better not take his eye off Xavier Woods. Woods back inside the ring, trying to get his wits about him and knocking down Melo momentarily. A little bit slow to capitalize. Xavier Woods has got to shake the cobwebs off and keep this momentum going. Nice maneuver there. Trick Williams had the power against Xavier Woods, but in this one-on-one -on -one matchup, I'd say the power game is in Xavier Woods' favor as he takes, takes Carmelo down to the canvas momentarily. Only a one count that time, but the New Day, the veterans, as we mentioned earlier, back in control. And I'd say that has a lot to do with Carmelo Hayes soaking in the pageantry of that slingshot DDT moments ago, maybe underestimating Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston here tonight. There's a tag made to Kofi. I'm sure Kofi's a little bit more eager than anybody to get his hands on Carmelo Hayes. Kofi may have come up short, but certainly was not a matchup against Ricochet two weeks ago where he was hanging his head in defeat. Kofi Kingston proud of his performance on that night and great respect for the champion in Ricochet. Carmelo Hayes reigned on both of their parades. The New Day looking to do one better tonight. Trick Williams, the legal competitor now, and Kofi Kingston making him regret getting that tag. Kofi Kingston has held all the championships there are to hold, excuse me, if we can get it out. United States champion, Intercontinental champion, WWE champion at one point in time. And of course, the New Day decorated tag team superstars throughout their careers. Williams and Carmelo Hayes finding out that they might have bit off more than they could chew with the New Day here tonight. Tag team specialist here on the blue brand. Xavier Woods getting the tag and some great tandem offense that time. Now Woods explosive out of the corner with the lariat. Into the cover. But Carmelo Hayes right there with his feet underneath him, not allowing a three count. Trick Williams going to the outside momentarily. A little back and forth, and Xavier Woods saying, Mello, stay on the outside and mind your own. Well, that may be a bad mistake by Xavier Woods trying to chase the TMG, the Trick Mello gang to the outside. As we mentioned earlier, Mello and Trick never to shy away from getting their hands dirty. Look at divide and conquer. Kofi's down, Mello's down. But the two legal competitors divided by the ropes at the current moment. Woods back inside the ring. Trick Williams trying to close the gap in this tag team matchup. And whether you like Trick Williams or not, that was a hell of a pump kick. We're gonna whoop that trick here tonight. Sending Xavier Woods into the corner. 
Look at the size differential paying trick dividends. But again, the TMG overzealous taking their eye off the ball, and that has cost them multiple times throughout this matchup. Another tag to Kofi Kingston. Trick Williams trying to get his wits about him right now. And Kofi dishing the fight right back. Trick Mello gang may regret the day they got themselves involved in some New Day territory. Kofi and Woods looking to make an example out of Trick and Mello here tonight in Little Rock. Trick Williams turned his back on Xavier Woods. It has been all New Day ever since. Back in enemy territory goes Trick Williams, and Kofi Kingston's look as focused as all hell. Trouble in paradise! Trick Williams may be seeing stars. That's going to be a victory for the New Day. Well, that'll teach Mello to mind his own. Here are your winners, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Carmelo Hayes and his pursuit of the United States Championship being disrupted. Trick Williams, the fall guy tonight. But Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, victorious nonetheless. A huge victory to kick things off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take a look at the action that happened over on TikTok this past Wednesday on Velocity. Axiom going one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser, continuing the ever-growing issues between these two tandems. It was a victory for Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium, but a short-lived celebration as the almighty Bobby Lashley arrived on the scene, cutting Giovanni Vinci in half. With a spear, you see Ludwig Kaiser defenseless as he gets sent over the top rope, not by will, but by force of Bobby Lashley, who went on to deliver a second spear to Giovanni Vinci. Well, Lashley took to X later that night and had this to say, hope spearing your boy in half was worthy enough of your attention. Gunther, you remember last week on SmackDown, we saw a post from Gunther saying he'll defend his world title when somebody's worthy enough of his attention. It looks like Bobby Lashley is after just that. A developing situation there as the man who defeated Randy Orton seven nights ago looks to stake his claim as the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. We'll have to wait and see if Gunther's gonna respond to that message, but nonetheless, we have other world championship aspirations to focus in on here in Simon's Bank Arena. It is the opening match in the Women's World Championship Eliminator that'll take place over the next three weeks here on Friday Night SmackDown. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky! The genius of the sky, Io Sky and Tegan Knox kicking things off tonight. Next week here on the Blue Brand, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who outlasted the Battle Royal last week, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Now the winner of these two matches are gonna move on to Super SmackDown two weeks from tonight, June the 7th in Mexico City. We're gonna be live and we're gonna find out on that night who will be crowned the number one contender for Raquel Rodriguez Women's World Championship. High stakes, high reward, not only in the men's division regarding the king of the ring, but here on Friday Night SmackDown, the women receiving a great opportunity. And certainly the four women competing in this eliminator all worthy of their spots. Io Sky picking up a victory a few weeks ago on Velocity against Zelina Vega. Tegan Knox and Roxanne Perez teaming up with Raquel Rodriguez in the weeks leading up to Battleground. Big six woman tag team victory over Shotzi, Zoe Stark, and Shayna Baszler. And then of course last week, the Empress of Tomorrow, as we mentioned, outlasting the over the top rope Battle Royal. All four women qualifying in a sense for their spots in this eliminator. But now it all comes down to, over the next few weeks, who is going to be next in line? Standing across the ring from Raquel Rodriguez in New Orleans, Louisiana, Saturday night, June the 15th, at King of the Ring. Not wait to find out who it's going to be. It very well could be one of these two women. Io Sky, the aggressor since the opening bell, taking the fight to the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox. 
Tegan Knox has only been involved in a handful of matches since her SmackDown return. Remember, Tegan Knox is on the shelf for over a year with a couple of undisclosed knee injuries. Went out just before WrestleMania in 2023, but returned in the gauntlet matchup back at the end of March. Seen some success, as we mentioned, standing alongside Raquel Rodriguez, but what can Tegan Knox do going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the woman who is now Women's World Champion? Question that we could get an answer to if Tegan Knox can survive the Eliminator over the next couple of weeks. You gotta imagine she's hungrier than ever here on Friday Night SmackDown. Nice cross body taking down Io Sky, and now Tegan heading back to the top rope. Not satisfied. Wants a little bit more. A second crossbody, and now she goes for the cover. Stack of the offense. Ingenious by Io Sky, or should say, ingenious by Tegan Knox that time. Unfortunately for her, Io Sky able to get the shoulder up. Gotta imagine Asuka and Roxanne Perez have their eyes on this matchup. Looking ahead to who they may fight, who they may face on Friday night, June the 7th. Estadio Azteca at Super Smackdown in Mexico City. Gonna be one of the biggest Smackdowns of all time. Over 50,000 already expected. Io Sky, Tegan Knox, Oscar, Roxanne Perez. Gonna wage war over the next two weeks to try to make their way to Mexico City. Right now, Tegan Knox is trying to wear down Io Sky. A couple of cross bodies went high risk, high reward. Worked out for Tegan. Obviously not something she wants to rely on in this matchup because it could spell the end. Down goes Io Sky off a choke slam. Great power being shown. Tegan Knox so versatile in her arsenal. Io Sky getting the shoulder up dead center of the ring. But you gotta imagine some serious damage done. Tegan Knox willing to take things to the air. Choke slam bringing the power game. The Shining Wizard, the kicks, the strikes in the arsenal. Tegan Knox, a full package. You see Io Sky just trying to get back into this matchup. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Momentarily going after the surgically repaired knee of Tegan Knox. And again, this is what she's got to do to kill the momentum of Knox in this matchup. But you bet Io Sky is going to do it. We've talked about Io Sky and. Recent months throughout 2024 here on SmackDown. Somebody who was right on the cusp of success. Her and Raquel Rodriguez for a little bit there were kind of neck and neck. Raquel really breaking out in 2024 so far. Winning the Elimination Chamber back in January. Of course, winning the Women's World Championship just a few weeks ago at Battleground. Io Sky trying to play catch up. Trying to take down Raquel. But first, she's got to try to find a way to keep down Tegan Knox, and then even if she can get through Tegan Knox, Io Sky would then away either Asuka or Roxanne Perez at Super SmackDown. A lot of different situations that could play out over the next three weeks as we look to crown a number one contender. Tegan Knox, the aggressor, for a few moments, but Io Sky has turned the tables. Look at the speed! Io Sky catching Tegan Knox right into the corner. Now a pair of boots for her troubles. And you want to talk about the strikes. Look no further than that knee. That might have just punched her ticket to the finals of the Eliminator. Not just yet. Some great toughness being shown by Tegan Knox that time, who knocks Io Sky off the middle rope, not allowing the genius of the sky to get soaring. Nice maneuver that time. Whatever Tegan Knox has got left in the tank, now is the time to empty it. Whoever wins this matchup is going to have one week's more rest opposed to Oscar and Roxanne Perez on the road to Super SmackDown. Got to leave it all on the table tonight. Never look back. Empty the tank if you need to. And that is what Tegan Knox is looking to do right here in this moment against EO Sky. All the while, Oscar, Roxanne Perez, and I'm sure even the women's world champion Raquel Rodriguez have got their eyes on this matchup. Look at the two worthy challengers. Io Sky getting hung up in the tree of woe this time. Oof. Whatever Tegan Knox had in mind. Lives to fight another day. Io Sky is trying to find her way out between a rock and a hard place between the corner and Tegan herself. Overhand shot. Nothing pretty about it. Look at this, some great strength being shown by Sky. What a German into the bridge! 
And only a one count that time. You had to believe Io Sky thought she had her caught. And now down goes Tegan Knox. Sky trying to lock in a submission hold. Far away from the ropes. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Not getting a chance to sail through the skies of Little Rock just yet tonight. Trying to bring things back down to size, but Tegan Knox straight in some separation. Tegan going to the top. That elbow might have knocked Eo a little bit silly momentarily. Going for a senton. Eo catching her into a power bomb. Once again, some great strength being shown. Both of these women showing different sides of their arsenal tonight. And that is what they need to do when the stakes couldn't be higher than ever. Inside cradle by Tegan Knox, looking to catch Sky. Not just yet, not just yet. And what a match we got on hand here, the Women's World Championship Eliminator. Look how fast Eo sails to, to the top of the ropes. Could be going for a over the moon salt. But Tegan Knox gets out of the way. Back and forth we start to go. Over the moonsault does not deliver. And Tegan Knox with a German. Now she's got Io Sky on the run. We said it a few minutes ago. We will restate it again. These two women looking to leave everything in the ring tonight. Empty the tanks if need be. I'd imagine it took a lot out of Eo Sky crashing and burning with the over the moon salt. Tegan Knox looking to take advantage. Going for a kick to the gut. Nobody home. Eo Sky off the reversal with a German of her own. Last few minutes, nobody really able to get sustained momentum as it was in the first part of this matchup. Both these women just need to find the right window of opportunity to strike with their best maneuvers. And maybe that'll be the exclamation point to keep the other down. Eo Sky again. Down goes Tegan Knox. And back to the top goes the genius of the sky. Where she got mine. Instead of electing for the over the moon salt. A safe bet. Big time splash. Eo Sky. Not only a genius of the sky, but a genius of the squared circle. An IQ test that brings her to the finish line tonight. Eo not looking to crash and burn off a second over the moon salt. Elects for a simpler, Here's effective maneuver. No matter the maneuver, it is the result that the genius wanted. EO Sky now moves on to Mexico City two weeks from tonight at Super SmackDown. She will either take on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, or she will meet the prodigy Roxanne Perez. We are one step closer to determining the number one contender for the Women's World Championship. We want to take you back to two weeks ago here on SmackDown. The new Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough, defeating Akira Tozawa, but a celebration short-lived thanks to a returning Wesley who was put on the shelf back in the month of March thanks to the antics of the Irish Ace. Wesley obviously with his eyes on earning a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity, and next week he may have an opportunity to move one step closer. Wesley going to have his hands full with a former NXT United Kingdom champion and the big strong boy Tyler Bate. Should be a great contest going down next week right here on Friday Night Smackdown. Sheesh. Of course the Cruiserweight champion in action in your main event, but we got action on hand right now. Let us take a look at the 16-man bracket thus far. On Monday Night Raw, Braun Breaker picked up the victory over Baron Corbin. LA Knight with a victory over Dijak. Now we look at the SmackDown side as there are still eight fresh faces, two to be removed by the end of tonight. 
But Alpha Academy's master Chad Gable, not looking to be the first man who was eradicated from the SmackDown side of the bracket in the 2024 King of the Ring. But this man is looking to move on by any means necessary. El Idolo Andrade. And his opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Andrea. You know, Andrade has found himself in the midst of a battle with the Latino World Order ever since his SmackDown return a couple of months ago. But I think after the last few weeks, Andrade is looking to move past a victory over Santos Escobar at Battleground, and of course, a six-man tag team loss. Andrade on the losing side of things two weeks ago in San Diego, but El Idolo now with an opportunity in the 2024 King of the Ring. No longer looking to associate with Rey Mysterio, trying to enter the tag team division. Now a new opportunity, a singles opportunity that Andrade, whether you like him or not, has all the capabilities to make the most of. Former NXT champion, a former United States champion, a Lucha Libre star, who's looking to compete in the quarterfinals of this tournament two weeks from tonight in Mexico City, Mexico. Easier said than done. When standing across the ring is a former Olympian, Chad Gable, a man who was a decorated tag team star in his day here in the WWE, but Gable could be looking to break out in singles competition here in the King of the Ring. Two first round King of the Ring matches going down right here tonight in Simons Bank Arena. Kicking things off for the SmackDown side of the bracket. It is Alitalo, Andrade, versus Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. And by the sounds of it, it looks like Little Rock, Arkansas is behind Gable as the first round of the King of the Ring tournament continues on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown. Andrade trying to be the aggressor in the early going with the springboard. Again, you saw the results from Monday Night Raw this past week. Braun Breaker with the victory over Baron Corbin. He's moving on. LA Knight with a victory over Dijak. Those two men will now meet each other in the quarterfinals. Less than two weeks in the red brand. This coming Monday night, Dominic Mysterio goes up against a mystery opponent after he took out. Main event, Jey Uso. And of course, the returning CM Punk takes on the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. But that is all Monday Night Raw. Tonight here on SmackDown, the Irish ace JD McDonough competes in the main event against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And right now, Chad Gable looks to out-wrestle El Idolo Andrade. Chad Gable's got all the tools to be a single success. Just waiting for the opportunity that he's going to capitalize on. Tonight may be the night. Not looking to leave any stone unturned. Gable's got so many ways to beat you inside of that ring. Some of the reasons why many of WWE superstars have called Gable a tough puzzle to figure out between the ropes. A suplex machine will take you down to the mat, try to tap you out. Absolutely try to kill your confidence in between the ropes. Ain't nothing you can do when Andrade, however, Gets the springboard and delivers two boots to your jawline. Worked in the early moments of this matchup, and it works to get Andrade back into it. The Lucha Libre talent of El Idolo. Whether you like his antics ever since returning to Friday Night SmackDown and his interference in Latino World Order business, nobody can deny that when Andrade laces up a pair of boots, it is a show every single time. Andrade, a physical specimen, an amazing talent that could be looking to break out on SmackDown himself in the King of the Ring tournament. What an elbow to the outside. Those are the types of maneuvers that maybe you wouldn't normally see, but when the opportunity is as high as it is, Andrade looking to take advantage. Remember what is on the line over the next couple of weeks on the road to New Orleans to Saturday night, June the 15th. Not only the chance to wear the crown of the king and etch your name in the annals of history, but of course a main event matchup for your brand's world championship. This August at SummerSlam hangs in the balance over the next number of weeks. Andrade looking to stake his claim in the main event at the biggest party of the summer. 
Chad Gable, a ways away, but Andrade gonna make the cut, delivering another elbow to the heart. They're gonna crush the dreams of Master Gable, but Charles Robinson's calling it a two. Gotta respect the effort out of Andrade right there, throwing his arm, own body in harm's way to try to get the three count. Unfortunately, victory was not to be. Chad Gable's got a lot more left in the tank. Andrade a little overzealous, trying to rely on that springboard drop kick too many times throughout this matchup. Chad Gable has done his homework. That's what Gable's got to do, going back to his Olympic background and just taking Andrade down to the canvas. Andrade now into the corner. Down goes Chad Gable off a couple of forearms. Not looking to allow a comeback here. Oh, man. Double moon salts the second delivers. And that is why Andrade is a special talent all around the globe. Gable is in trouble. Or maybe not. Gable realizing his back was against the wall. And a quick reversal off the neck breaker. Oh my goodness. Gable cannot find a window. Just when you think Chad Gable's getting back into this thing, El Idolo right there to cut his momentum to a screeching halt. This keeps up. Andrade is going to be on his way to Super SmackDown two weeks from tonight to compete against either J.D. McDonough or the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in Mexico City, Mexico. All remains to be seen. We'll know our first quarterfinal matchup on behalf of the Blue Brand by the end of tonight. Andrade looking to stake his claim in the second round. Off the top, going for the frog splash. And maybe this is finally the opportunity that Gable gets back into this matchup. Nice takedown there. Now Gable, German suplex. Andrade going for a ride. Gable's got so many suplex variations in his arsenal. There's another one off the full Nelson. If Gable can stack this offense and keep dropping Andrade on his dome, well, he's going to be well on his way to play and catch up in this match. Wasting Andrade on the top. What does Master Gable have in mind? Oh, no. Look at this. Billy to belly suplex. And Andrade getting the shoulder up as Little Rock comes unglued here in Simon's Bank Arena. Trying to rally behind Chad Gable. One suplex, two suplex, make it three, make it four. Andrade down and out. But can Chad Gable cross the finish line first? Going behind again. Couple of shots. He's trying to knock Andrade silly. Into the ropes he goes. Another full Nelson this time into the bridge. And Andrade gets the shoulder off. And great offense by Chad Gable. This is exactly what he needed to get back in this matchup, but he better not give Andrade time to breathe. He has got to stay on El Idolo and keep the momentum firm in his grasp. Andrade looking worse for wear right now, but you can never count him out until you hear a bell. Andrade trying to create some distance as Chad Gable throwing a couple shots, trying to figure out what it's going to take to keep down Alidolo here tonight. There's the springboard drop kick that Andrade has relied on throughout this match. Can't knock Andrade going back to the basics in his terms. Any means necessary to turn the tides. Now Gable finds himself down on the canvas momentarily, and Andrade, nothing pretty about that. Just stop it on the hands of Gable. Could be looking to take away the grip. And if you take away the grip, you're going to take away the suplex attempts. Chad Gable. And Andrade's worse for wear. And a couple of boots. Just like that, Alidolo is back in this match. And now scaling the ropes, Chad Gable once again staring up at the lights of Little Rock, Arkansas, as Andrade delivers yet another elbow. And not even going for the cover just yet. Realizes some of the offense that he's thrown over the last 30 seconds or so familiar throughout this matchup so far. Realizing he just needs to stack it. He needs to do the damage to Master Gable. 
Down and out on the outside, Gable goes. Chad trying to stop himself dead in his tracks. I don't know what Andrade's got in mind, but it can't be good. Back inside between the ropes, where hopefully this is where we see the finish take place. Inside the ring, not outside of it. But Chad Gable gets the shoulder up, and we ain't gonna see a finish just yet. I don't know if Chad Gable can take another onslaught from El Idolo. It was tough finding a window to get back in a few minutes ago. Trying to find another may be feeling like a miracle. Look at Andrade. He is working all over the body of Chad Gable. The midsection, the legs. Andrade just trying to pick apart his opponent tonight and soak in the pageantry on his way to possibly moving on to the second round of King of the Ring. Gable's not looking good right now as Andrade looking to pop a shoulder out of its socket. And drawing the fruits of his labor. And Gable in trouble. Andrade tying him up with the hammerlock DDT. Into the cover goes Andrade, and on his way to Super SmackDown, his ticket is punched. Here is your winner, Andrea. Alidolo, Andrade, cutting the momentum of Chad Gable down throughout this matchup, and now finds his name. Move it on to the second round in the King of the Ring. There we take a look. At the updated bracket, Chad Gable's opportunity goes up in smoke. Who will Andrade meet at Super SmackDown? We find out up next in your SmackDown main event. Last week here on SmackDown, we kicked things off for the WWE Tag Team Title Defense as Austin Theory and Grayson Waller put the gold on the line against Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde of Latino World Order. LWO were picking up steam for a couple of weeks, but unfortunately for their championship desires, holding up the gold was not to be A-Town Down Under retaining the titles. But we also look back at recent weeks here on SmackDown where Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio have been trying to work their way into getting a tag team title matchup. Santos Escobar picked up a victory over Austin Theory in singles action back in the month of April and of course Rey Mysterio pinning Austin Theory in the six man tag two weeks back. We can now confirm coming up two weeks from tonight in Mexico City, it is gonna be a WrestleMania rematch for the WWE Tag Team titles. A-Town Down Under look to go two for two as they defend the championships against the other half of Latino World Order, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. But coming up next week, here on SmackDown, the King of the Ring Tournament first round continues as the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. What a war that's gonna be. And for the first time since Backlash, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, returns with his head on straight and looking to earn himself an opportunity at SummerSlam. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the United States champion, Ricochet. Next week on SmackDown, the first round of the King of the Ring continues. Three weeks ago at Battleground, the American Nightmare suffered a heartbreaking loss to the Apex Predator Randy Orton inside a cold and unforgiving steel cage. Cody Rhodes is back tonight with his head on straight, looking to shake the cobwebs off and start his road to redemption here on Friday Night SmackDown. You can't fight Randy Orton forever, a never-ending war that may never be done. But Cody Rhodes is looking to refocus as the King of the Ring continues. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds.
You know, last year at SummerSlam, Cody Rhodes became the only man to own a pinfall victory over the ring general Gunther since Gunther's debut here on Friday Night SmackDown. That matchup was for the United States Championship. One year later, Cody Rhodes will get a head back to SummerSlam by winning the King of the Ring tournament to compete in the main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. And that road could start here tonight. And make no mistake about it, although Cody Rhodes may seem like the odds on favor, he has got a very underhanded, devilish tactic man standing across the ring from him tonight. The Irish Devil the cruiserweight champion of the world. If he had the guts to slay the mad dragon at Battleground, who's to say he can't outlast an American nightmare? And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough! You may not like J.D. McDonough, you may not respect his antics, but at the end of the day, McDonough, as you can see with the gold, has recently produced some great results. Three weeks ago at Battleground, while Cody Rhodes was sent to a hospital after a pun kick from Randy Orton, J.D. McDonough was soaking in the pageantry of being the last man standing against Ilya Dragunov. McDonough's pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship, his obsession to win the gold, finally manifested himself into winning the championship three weeks ago. But now McDonough, with Wesley on his tail, tries to remain focused on the task at hand. A tall task at that against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. Andrade, we know, has moved on to Mexico City two weeks from tonight. He will face the winner of this contest. Will it be J.D. McDonough or will it be Cody Rhodes? We find out in your SmackDown main event live from Simons Bank Arena here in Little Rock. Of course, the King of the Ring live premiere event coming your way Saturday night, June the 15th from Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. 5 p.m. Eastern time, mark it on your calendar so you don't forget. Both of these superstars looking to be competing in the semi as well as the finals of the King of the Ring tournament on that night. They will have the chance to book their ticket if they can move on to Super SmackDown in Mexico City. Easier said than done, as they are both willing to fight tooth and nail and destroy each other in the means to do so. See, Cody Rhodes looking to be the aggressor in the early going. Size and strength advantage for the American Nightmare, but the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Dangerous is that man. The devilish tactics of the Irish Ace that brought him to the promised land. And but to outlast the Man Dragon and Ilya Dragunov three weeks ago in a physical, brutal, and downright disturbing last man standing matchup. Who's to say McDonough can't keep down Cody Rhodes tonight. More remains to be seen if J.D. McDonough's got what it takes to level up and perform at this stage. Cody Rhodes, three weeks ago, was kicked violently in the head by the apex predator, Randy Orton. Obviously, Cody cleared to go and ready for action tonight, and I'm sure has his heart set on victory, but is the body of Cody Rhodes anywhere near 100%? More remains to be seen, but even if it's not, Cody's going to give this match a fight. That we know about Cody Rhodes. Lady McDonough hoisted to the top. The American Nightmare looking to meet him there, and this is where the size and strength is going to play dividends for Cody. In this main event clash, superplex with a delay. Letting the blood rush to J.D. McDonough's massive cranium. And now J.D. set to the ropes. Cody Rhodes with his foot on the ass pedal. Rhodes is not looking to come up short. Weeks removed from an unsettling loss to the apex predator inside a solid steel cage. We mentioned it moments ago. Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton, their issues may never be resolved. They'll keep fighting each other till the end of time. At some point, both superstars gotta move on. 
We saw Randy Orton in action last week against the almighty Bobby Lashley. I'm sure an upsetting loss for Randy Orton that he's not going to sit well with. And as for Cody Rhodes, he gets an opportunity in the King of the Ring tournament. Will he be able to make the most of it? We're finding out before our very eyes. Meanwhile, J.D. McDonough trying to find any way to keep down the stronger competitor of Cody Rhodes. Meanwhile, Cody, look at this. Agile is all hell able to keep down the Cruiserweight champion. And now Cody muscling up the champion and down goes McDonough again. J.D. McDonough realizing that as the Cruiserweight champion, he's got a target on his back. Wesley in hot pursuit of McDonough over the last couple of weeks, already picking up a victory on Velocity two weeks ago. Now he takes on Tyler Bate next week. You gotta believe JD's got that situation in the back of his mind, but he's gotta focus on the task at hand, or Cody Rhodes may just eat him alive. But impressive right there is the Cruiserweight Champion off the Springboard Tornado. And now a suplex taping down the American Nightmare. I'm sure Andrade rehydrating and resting up in the back as he watches this main event clash. Looking to see who he's gonna meet in front of 50,000 plus strong in Mexico City two weeks from tonight. JD McDonough, look at the strength here. Going for a devil inside on Cody Rhodes. McDonough gonna score a huge upset. This is gonna be a bracket buster in the king of the ring, not just yet. Cody Rhodes getting a much needed shoulder off the canvas. What an upset that could have been for JD McDonough. What a busted a lot of brackets out there in the WWE Universe, that's for damn sure. But Cody Rhodes still got something left in the tank and JD McDonough starting to come unglued. McDonough just trying to keep his foot on the gas pedal. He's got Cody Rhodes down. He's got to make the most of it. Another springboard there, J.D. McDonough not unstrangely going to the air, but obviously likes to beat down his opponents in a very more physical and violent fashion, but tonight he needs to use the high-flying abilities and the speed and agility to his advantage. Fighting outside of the cruiserweight division bleeds a whole different source of competition as he is finding out Cody Rhodes' pedigree! McDonough! to get the shoulder up, but how close was that? Cody Rhodes delivering a pedigree. J.D. McDonough out of instinct, able to survive, but certainly not a man who we would deem thriving in this main event. We're gonna talk about coming unglued. Cody Rhodes is looking fired up. And the Tope suicide to the outside. The champion going splat at ringside here at Simons Bank Arena. And Cody Rhodes in hot pursuit. A little bit slow to get to the top rope here and this may come back to haunt the American Nightmare as he goes for a moonsault but JD McDonough rolling out of the way. Worst case scenario for the landing for Cody Rhodes and now JD McDonough is back in control. McDonough with his eyes locked, going behind. Wait a minute, a crossroads delivered. Finisher theft by JD, but Cody Rhodes knows it better than anybody, and he delivers it better than anybody. Able to survive his own finishing maneuver. You gotta give credit where credit's due. JD McDonough getting creative and pulling a different card out from his sleeve tonight. The Iris Ace now just trying to institute a beatdown on the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. The Devil inside delivered. A crossroads delivered to the man who does it best. Does JD McDonough have Cody Rhodes up against the ropes? Does he have Cody Rhodes beaten? For months, JD McDonough played his cards right in his obsession to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Will J.D. McDonough be playing his cards right in an attempt to move on in the King of the Ring Tournament? Not if he makes mistakes like that. Knocked off the top by Cody. 
simple yet effective lariat. Oh, McDonough, look at that. Extremely creative pinfall. Could be stealing the victory. Not just yet, Cody Rhodes. Still into this matchup. Cody going behind. Crossroads. Enthusiastic as all hell. Into the cover. Moving on to the second round. There you see the bracket. And the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes punches his ticket to Mexico City, Mexico. Two weeks from tonight at Super Smackdown where he goes one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo Andrade. What a main event. And a successful road to redemption has begun. When his back is against the wall, Cody Rhodes fights like nobody else. The American Nightmare, proving to be a one-of-one-like superstar. Cody Rhodes is back in a blades of glory, and he punches his ticket to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring Tournament.